Here in Reno, Nevada at the Western uh, Regionals, uh, Gabriel LaFleur is senior, uh, attending the action. Uh, Junior's got a big fight May 4th, finally uh, fighting in his hometown. How's he feeling? How's, he, how's training camp going? It's feeling good. We're excited, man, to uh, fight in the hometown, Stockton, California, in front of 10,000 people. Ticket sales are going crazy right now, so everybody's pumped for the event. Junior's looking sharp, you know, as usual. Um, he's maturing, he's 12-0 now, he's looking to go 13-0 May 4th. Yeah, great solid lineup. It rivaled the uh, uh, Canelo fight in Vegas. Right. And initially, it didn't look like it looked like it was going to be the other show, but now it's actually coming to the forefront based on publicity and ticket sales. Uh, Gabriel, big, do you think Gabriel moves the needle that much that he's the main factor? Right. Well, we'll see. In, in the 209, they're going to come out. They love Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel sells tickets. He's always been a draw um, in California. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Canelo's Canelo, but he's fighting on an app. Junior's fighting on ESPN, so it should be good for us. Yeah. How do you feel coming back here to the amateurs? We chatted a little off camera, but now you're, you're checking out the action. Um, Anybody you got your eye on or anybody you can speak of that, that you might be Well, you know, I mean, I mean, I always work with Harley Mordero, so I love Harley, you know, little Harley. I'm, we're looking to bring him over to top rank. Um, yeah, there's a couple of talented kids here, um, but, you know, the scoring, it's just different to me, and then the judging is kind of, you know, it's kind of iffy. Yeah. Um, as it's always been, you know. Yeah. What's the plan then for the rest of the year? Assuming so, everything goes as planned, he gets a nice victory. Uh, junior, that... Uh, What's the plan moving forward after this? Anything you can share? Uh, fight him. If, as long as everything goes good, May 4th, I and mean, he's not injured, nothing happens, um, we're looking to come back June or July and, and, and keep that pace. How difficult is it uh, with people that want to come train at your gym, and, but you're kind of overwhelmed with the fighters you, you currently work with? Uh, what does it take for you to take on anybody, or are you just super focused on nah, Junior? Man, I mean, I'm willing to take other fighters as long as they're dedicated, man, but they got to they gotta want it more than I want it. I find I train kids, and I, and it looks like I want it more than they do. I mean, the kids nowadays are not too, they're not, they're kind of lazy, they're not too motivated, they're not hungry as they used to be. You have a new facility in Stockton, I believe, right. from, the, from the time I visited you? Right, 7602 Murray Drive, Stockton, California, man. If you think you got what it takes, come by and, you know, we'll see what you got. All right, where can, uh, where can the uh, public follow you on? Social media at Coach G. Flores on Instagram. Uh, Facebook is Gabe Flores Sr. All right, hey, thank you, man. Good yeah. luck.